16, 16. Says he that believes yeah. and he is baptized shall be saved. Right. But some man hmm. has convinced millions of people yes. Yes. that baptism mm -hmm. don't save nobody. Yeah. I'm going to proclaim to you today from God's word yeah. that baptism is the only way only. that a man can obey the gospel. Yeah. I got Bible for that. Yeah. Oh, yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. Baptism is the only way for a man or a woman to obey the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection. And God says in his word, you got to obey that. If you don't, you're going to be in trouble at the judgment. Bible says 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 beginning in verse number 16 and seeing it is a righteous thing with God to reckon pinch tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us mm -hmm. when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flame and fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible said, one of these old days, Jesus is coming back. He ain't coming back by himself. He's coming back with an entourage yes. of angels yes. who going to mean business. Because yes. the Bible says that they are coming back to take vengeance on those who don't know God and upon those who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in verse 9, they're going to be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Amen. Lord coming back one day Amen. when he comes back all of those who have been taught. All of those who have subscribed to the false doctrine that baptism don't save nobody well, is coming back mm -hmm. oh, yeah. to take vengeance. Oh, yeah. You will be destroyed yeah. with everlasting destruction yeah. from the presence of God and from the glory of his power. Mm -hmm. In order to obey the gospel, you got to be baptized. Mm -hmm. I got a Bible for that. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 6. Right. And beginning at verse number 3. Because the gospel contains three facts. It is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So I've got to do something commanded by God that allows me to die with him. Right. To be buried with him. And to raise with him. That's the only way to obey that. Is you got to do that. Now, hello? Mm -hmm. I need you to get this. Right. Because folk are going to stand before God in the judgment wondering why mm -hmm. they're being told, depart from me. Mm -hmm. I never knew you. Absolutely. Because they pray a sinner's prayer. Mm -hmm. They're going to stand before God and be told, depart from me. I never knew you because they stood there and told Jesus, come into my heart. On be forth on the day of judgment. We're going to be told by God, depart from me. Yeah. I never knew you. Because they tarry at somebody's altar mm. in order to receive their salvation. Yeah. And the Bible teaches that the only way that a man can be saved is that he has to obey the gospel. Mm. And the gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Mm. I got to do that. And prayer won't let me do that. Man. I got to do the death, burial, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. And just confessing Jesus won't let me do that. Man. I got to do the death, burial, and resurrection. And just believing in my heart won't let me do that. Well, what preacher allows me to do that? Baptism. All right. Man. Baptism allows you the privilege of dying with Christ. Being buried with Christ 
and being raised with Christ. Yeah. Romans chapter 6. Yeah. And beginning in verse number 3, know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized mm -hmm. into his death. Yeah. See the only way you can get in that death is to be baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him. How? By baptism. How dare a man say baptism don't save nobody. Mm -hmm. When baptism is the only way God has ordained for you to die with him, be buried with him, and that like is Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so we also should walk in the newness of life. The Bible shows us that when folk are baptized, that God adds them to the church. That's how they're called into the kingdom. Because the church and the kingdom are one and the same. The same thing that puts a man into the kingdom is the same thing that puts a man into the church. When you look at Acts chapter 20 and beginning at verse number 40, Acts chapter 2, rather, Acts 2, beginning at verse 40, Acts 2 and verse 40, with many other words, did he, talking about Peter, testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Mm -hmm. Then they that gladly received his word mm -hmm. were baptized. Why were these folk baptized? Because mm -hmm. in chapter 2 <laughs> and verse number 38, Peter said to them, Repent and to be baptized. In verse number 37, they asked the men and brethren, what shall we do? The answer was not pray, a sinner's prayer. Right. The answer was not just believe on the Lord with all your heart. The answer was not confess Christ as your personal Savior. The answer was repent and be baptized. Amen. And the Bible says they, they gladly received his word, verse 41, mm -hmm. were baptized. And the same day, they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Mm -hmm. What were they added to? Drop down to verse 47. The Bible says, praising God, having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Mm -hmm. Everybody that was being baptized was being added to the church. Mm -hmm. Everybody that was being baptized, was being translated from the world, from the power of darkness, and into the kingdom of God's dear Son. Amen. Let me close with showing you that the eternal kingdom is God's church. Amen. When you look at Matthew chapter 16, and beginning at verse number 18, after Jesus has inquired of his disciples, whom were men, saying that he was. Some folk didn't know who Jesus was. Just like some folk today don't know which church is Jesus' church. Mm -hmm. They didn't know who Jesus was back there in that time. Some said he was John the Baptist. Yeah. Some said he was Elijah. Some said he was Jeremiah, or just one of the prophets. But then that's when Jesus asked his disciples, But whom do ye say that I am? These boys had been with him for some time now. They had seen him heal the sick and raise the dead. They had seen him feed folk with two fish and five bottles of those. They had seen him do things that only the Messiah could do. Yeah. And so when he asked the question, whom do ye say that I 
the Son of Man. It was Peter that said,